اعوذباللہمنشیطانرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر فرینڈس ویلکم ٹو آئیڈیا فاؤنڈیشن فورم فرام لیکچر ٹو ہنڈریڈ ون وہ اسٹارٹڈ اے نیو ایریا آف قرآنک ریسرچ نیملی دا قرآنک ڈائنامکس ان اے پروگریسنگ ورلڈ دا قرآنک ڈائنامکس ان اے پروگریسنگ ورلڈ This research area contains about 25 topics, 25 topics. Out of these 25 topics, its first topic, the Quran is a revealed book we have completed in 11 lectures. First topic of the main area, we have covered it in 11 lectures, each of them presented an exclusive argument supporting that the Quran is a revealed book. I am always conscious of my scholastic limitations and expect from my valued friends some valuable advice for improving the contents and presentation of future lectures. Now the second topic of the Quranic dynamics in a progressing world. First we have completed. The second one that I will introduce today is the Quran and modern sciences. Very, very important. The Quran and modern sciences. Scope of discussion on this topic appears huge and diversified. I have tried to shorten the list of issues involved, yet it may require about a hundred lectures to briefly address them. Previous topic had 11 lectures, it may have about 100 lectures. Despite pursuing this marathon list, it will be hardly justifiable to claim a comprehensive discourse on this topic because of its diversity. Though the Quran is not a book of science, as the contemporary scientific works are designed and presented, yet, yet the information it contains is extremely definite, precise and superbly proves to be the precursor. What is precursor? Foreteller advance information of several of the scientific discoveries of our times. For that, many of the scientists of modern age have declared the Quranic information compatible with the scientific knowledge and have considered it a guiding vision for future scientific pursuits. Today, I will only focus on the planned list of the issues that we will discuss in upcoming lectures. So, it is an introductory lecture regarding the uh, regarding Quran and modern sciences. It will give you an idea, a scope on the diversity of the issues and the volume of work that we will go through in the coming days. Let us go to the table shown on the screen which refers to the discipline related to each issue, its scientific description, Quranic description and the Quranic references. Have a look on the top, uh, top row of the table. Serial number, discipline, science, scientific description, Quranic description and Quranic references. Now I will just point out the important areas, then the subtitles are subordinate issues I will leave uh, to save time. The first topic of the lecture that I will introduce is regarding Big Bang or quantum singularity. It pertains to astrophysics or cosmology and its general title is creation from nothingness. 
then there are so many Quranic references, those we will discuss in the upcoming lectures. So look at the screen, there are so many lectures which will be covered under this topic. Then come to the size of universe. Science says trillions of stars and billions of galaxies are there in the universe. What Quran says that we will discuss, it is also part of the astrophysics or cosmology. We have about six, seven lectures on this area as well. There is another aspect of the size of universe that is with reference to galaxies of stars. When we will go in detail, we will find that the creation of the universe was a gradual, gradual phenomenon. So, at what stage galaxies of and stars uh, took birth, that will be discussed in some uh, other two, three lectures. Now, come to very important subject. Now, science is admitting concept of multiverse. Multiverse, ke, what is multiverse? Multiverse is that universes are more than one. There are multiple verses. So, there are a few verses in the Quran which also point out this, you know, point which was pointed out by the scientific discoveries. This also relates to astrophysics or cosmology. Now, coming to the next topic, it is regarding expanding universe. Yes, aluhu man fis samavati wal ars. Like this, there are so many other verses which support this concept of scientific discovery by the Quran. Then there is, you know, very important issue in our scientific discovery regarding the black holes. You will be surprised to know this phenomena is also available in Quran. Faizan najumu tum tumisat and so many other, you know, verses we will discuss and refer. Likewise, as Quran says, Kullu man alayha fan wa yabka wajhu rabbika zul jalali wal ikram Everything which is created has an end. Ultimately that will demise, that will finish. That is regarding demise of the universe. Our big crunch as said by the, you know, uh, great philosophers of cosmology and the people who wrote on the uni creation of universe. Similarly, people were very strange, very amazed that Quran is telling that there are things, uh, there are some matter between the galaxies, stars and the earth. That was pointed out by science as well recently. So there is compatibility between the two information, one uh, revealed in the Quran 1400 years ago, the other just the recent discovery of science. Now, just imagine, as I quoted a verse from Surah Rahman, وَيَبْكَا وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُلْ جَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ earlier, كُلُّ مَنْ أَلَيْهَا فَأَنْ وَيَبْكَا وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُلْ جَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ So sun is among the, one of the wonders, one of the element of nature, element of the universe, like everything which is created, likewise sun also doesn't have unlimited life. It is not infinite. It, it is also, you know, has a, a very limited life according to science and as well as according to the Quranic verses. Now look at it. Today our modern science says there are orbits and celestial bodies move around it. Now just imagine the Quranic references. Which means by the heaven, space, containing pathways. Just imagine so many verses are referred which pertain to this subject. 
I have already mentioned about the demise of the sun, we skip it. Now, another, you know, miraculous phenomena, miraculous information of the Quran, which has been proved by the scientific discoveries. That is, sun is light giver. We receive light from the sun. Whereas, moon gives us, derives light. You understand the difference? Sun is light giver. Moon is a derived light. So, this difference is available in the Quran as well as in the scientific discoveries. Quran has mentioned many times about rel relativity of time. Somewhere, Allah has mentioned that uh, one day of the day of the judgment will be equal to 50,000 years of this world and so many at different levels the time scale will be different as given in the relativity of time. So these are wonders of the nature which have been shared in the Quran 1400 years ago. Another miraculous information given in the Quran. Quran says about the uh, in uh, in the uh, uh, verse Allah says وَأَنزَلْنَا الْحَدِيدَ فِيهِ بَاسُ shadid Multiple benefits to the humanity and people were amazed what are the special benefits of the of iron but when the science discovered the phenomena of electromagnetic sphere which is protecting the earth then people knew the significance of this verse. Likewise, Quran says, Earth was detached, separated from the mainframe heaven at very, very later stage of the expansion of the universe. This phenomena, phenomena has been uh, proved by the, by the science recently. Likewise, Quran says in its verses that there are many there are several other earths like the uh, like our earth the same information has been discovered by the science very recently it is also uh, a topic of the astrophysics or cosmology now another you know miraculous information of the quran which has been approved which has been proved by the uh, modern scientific discoveries that is about the roundness of the earth yes now just imagine the quran has told us there are seven layers of the earth to between the heaven celestial bodies and the earth to protect the uh, to protect earth from the you know very very strong and powerful celestial bodies this phenomena has been now uh, told by the scientific discoveries as well likewise a quran uh, told us that it's a gravitational force which uh, make it possible to move the celestial bodies around uh, along us uh, along their orbits this philosophy has been uh, you know authenticated by scientific discoveries likewise quran says i have pro i have a, i have you know given a protective ceiling for the protection of earth it means earth has been given a protective system it was not known to anyone uh, 1400 years before. So uh, that means the information given 1400 years was surely a divine information. And this information has now been uh, authenticated by the scientific discoveries. Now science says there are seven, you know, protective layers between the celestial bodies and the earth. So this is again wonder and miraculous information given by the Quran. Quran says, Vassama izatir raji, 
I have established a recycling and recurring system. What a fantastic information has been shared by Allah 1400 years ago. What it is? It is the, you know, balancing and recycling system. It is hydro cycle, it is carbon cycle, it is photosynthesis and many things. Those we will discuss at some appropriate uh, point of time or some upcoming lectures. These information have been uh, disclosed by or discovered by science very recently. Similarly, Quran was of the view that atom can be divided. Quran was of the view of the divisibility of atom. Whereas science was and Aristotle and other Plato and other philosophers, they were, they were of the opinion that atom is the last divisible, uh, you know, uh, article. Whereas Quran says, uh, atom is further divisible. Likewise, Quran says, fire is possible without combustion. It was very, very amazing, you know, information. But now that has been approved by, un, under astrophysics. Now, very strange, you know, phenomena. Quran says, and we send the fecundating winds, then cause water to descend from the sky, therewith providing you with water in abundance. It, it means there are some sort of some types of winds which fertilize the clouds for rain. Again, it was not possible humanly uh, to know these facts which were told in the Quran 1400 years ago. Now this amazing information has been proved by scientific discoveries. Allahu Akbar. We should be proud of this divinely book, blessed to the Muslims, blessed to the believers. Now water. You know, earth has about three-fourth water and one-fourth of land. Quran says water was not intrinsic component of earth. What a miraculous information given by the Quran, which has now been proved by scientific discoveries. Likewise, Quran says the whole process of formation of rains, which was not known to, or to, the, uh, to any scholar or people, but that was divine revelation. That has been proved now. It is part of the hydrology and water cycle for which we will, inshallah, develop four, five, six lectures. Likewise, darkness in deep sea and internal waves, this was the message in the Quran, which has been now proved by oceanology, one, you know, one of the branches of science. Likewise, just imagine, Allah says, وَإِذَا الْبَحَارُ سُجِّرَرْ and when the seas are filled with flame, people were amazed. The seas, you know, filled of, filled of water. How those can be uh, inflamed? But now science says, science has discovered that when the earth may split, there will be flames from the bottom of the sea and there will be, you know, there, there will be many, you know, changes on the earth. Likewise, there is mention of tsunami effect and splitting of the sea, which, uh, which we uh, read in the, you know, when Hazrat Moses was saved from Pharaoh by, you know, dividing the river Nile. Now that, that has been uh, proved that it's possible, scientifically possible, that sometimes water can be divided into parts. Likewise, Quran has many, many places mentioned the significance of mountains and nature of the earth, which is now proved by 
geology, another branch of science. Now look at it. There is concept given in the Quran, expanding earth, shrinking land. People thought it's a contradiction, contradiction in the Quran. But now science has proved it. When we talk about the earth as a globe, it is expanding. But when we talk about the land, continental land, it is shrinking because of erosion and many other things. So this is the miraculous information given by the Quran indicating that Quran is a revealed book. Another topic of geology, formation of coal, gases and petrol. These are, you know, leading information uh, which was given in the Quran. Like, likewise, water is told as source of life. Water was told as source of life. People were amazed what type of information it is given by Quran. But now science itself tells us nothing, no living thing can be possible without water. Everything, life is based on water. Just imagine. Likewise, Quran says every living, living thing was created from single soul, then it was procreated in pairs. This information was given by Quran 1400 years ago, which is now authenticated by the biological research. Allah Akbar. This is the miracle of Quran. We must be proud. Likewise, Quran told about 14 embryonic stages which was not possible for human beings to know much more than two or three embryonic stages. I still recall, I read somewhere in late 1990s that a Qatar, uh, Qatar government probably constituted one international, international a consortium or international panel to investigate whether it was humanly possible to know the 14 stages at, the, at that belated stage and answer was no. Then they asked how that was possible. The result uh, they decided, they concluded that it can only be a divine information, not humanly possible. Likewise, DNA programming in genes, it's a modern phenomenon. But you will be surprised to know it is available in the Quran. Let me read the ayat. Min nutfatin khalakahu fakaddarahu. Kaddara comes from the Arabic verb kadara, means arranging, setting out, planning, programming, seeing the future, the identification. Identification on which Allah will call the human being at the, on the day of judgment. That is DNA. Next. Now, just imagine about the anatomy of brain. Quran reveals functions of various parts of brain, which is the subject of modern physiology. Likewise, Quran told about fingertips identity, fingertips identity, which has been now part of physiology. Yes. Another very important subject, formation of milk. In the Quran, formation of milk has been adjoined with the, you know, circulation of blood, which has now been approved under physiological, you know, research. Likewise, Quran says, hearts tells about the heart's influence on mind. This point has now been, you know, uh, authenticated by physiology and psychology. You know, when we talk about prayers and ibadat, it is one of the benefits 
that prayer has positive effects of uh, effects on health now this point has been now this point has been uh, you know proved by the scientific discoveries quran also tells about the sources of fire in wood what is the special chemical what is the special thing in the wood which becomes you know source of fire now just imagine this is the subject of physics which is a recent discovery but that was told in quran 1400 years ago likewise quran tells us about the earth's gravitational force which is the current subject of geology now just imagine the wonders and miracles of quran which allah shared with the humanity 1400 years ago this is the list of issues that we will discuss in upcoming lectures since this is a shortened list containing 175 issues so i am not sure about the exact number of lectures that will be required to discuss them adequately however i will try to finish them in about 100 lectures with this we conclude our session here for reference purpose it is lecture number 225 and introductory lecture on the quran and modern sciences please do subscribe idea foundation youtube channel to watch videos of previous lectures for this purpose you may also visit website www.ideafoundation.com.pk thank you friends for participation allah hafiz